G'day shooters. Now, first of all, the elephant in the room. Yes, Weatherby Eyebrow. I did it with a 6.5 Creedmoor, and I know that gives me about as much credibility as a bloke who's been mauled by a Shih Tzu. But the scar will heal, and my psychologist says I'll get over it. So in the meantime, let's get on with the video. We're going to set ourselves a task, and one that might seem simple at face value, but it's actually quite a complex issue. We're going to look at whether animals can see coloured light. Or actually more specifically, what we're going to look at is whether coloured lights change the behaviour of the ferals and the pests that we shoot at night. Now most of the animals that we hunt tend to be red-green colour blind and there's plenty of scientific and anecdotal evidence to back that up. But anybody who's watched a cat chase a red laser pointer around knows that it's not a hard and fast rule that you can apply across the board. There's a lot of variation. It'll take us a while to get to the bottom of this issue and show you everything involved, but tonight, in the first video, we're going to go out fox hunting with a professional. G'day guys, Rod Morris, RJM Feral Animal Management. We're out on a contract job tonight to do some fox work on a little dairy farm, local property, so we're trying to keep it all as discreet as possible and um, minimise the impact on the cattle. So the plan tonight is to try and spot some foxes through the thermal, hopefully with them not knowing that we're here. And we want to do some testing and find out just how susceptible foxes are and how sensitive they are to red lights. So tonight we're running the Z Vision 3-in-1. So it's a JP303. We can run it in green, white and red. We'll try and get some eye shine, um, see if the foxes react to the red light. If we don't get a reaction, we'll then go to the green and if we don't get a reaction from the green, we'll try the white. The first fox to come in seemed to go about its business normally under red light, indicating the light had no influence on its behaviour. It was the same with the next one, and notice that the cattle are quite relaxed. The red light didn't disturb them. This fox trotted unflinchingly under both the red and the green, but when we flicked to white light, it paused for a quick look, even if it didn't look scared. This fox was so close it hurt us and knew something wasn't right. We'd been busted. But under red and then green light, it didn't seem worried. Same under white light at first, until we switched it off, which caught its attention and spooked it. He was off. At that point, we figured we'd better let Rodney get on with his job while we happily watched on. So initial results indicate that red and green are probably invisible to foxes, while white is visible. Certainly white was the only light that changed their behaviour, and that's the key point. Now we'll be back out there very soon to try some more experiments with animals under different coloured lights in different environments. Meanwhile, subscribe to us, like us, follow us, do whatever you need to do so that we can alert you when the next one comes out. Also, don't forget to check out the Eagle Eye Hunting Gear website. Until then, shoot well.